Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and today we're looking at the Thermal Scientific 146 IQ multi gas calibrator. And what I'm going to do is just go through a few of the menu settings on how to actually operate the, uh, the calibrator. Uh, looking at the main screen, we show calibration, data, and settings. So to operate the calibrator, it isn't actually the calibration screen that you go into. This screen is just to calibrate your mass flow controllers, your manual ozonator calibration, pressure sensor calibration, that sort of thing. So the screen that you would go into to operate this calibrator is settings and then operation. Um, if we go into operation, what we'll see is the gas solenoid that's been selected, which is solenoid five in this case for SO2. And then we have the mode that it's currently in, which is zero. And if we had air, air going through it, we'd see our gas flow cylinder for SO2 and then our total flow down here. So if I wanted to go in and select my gas solenoid, I can pick one through six solenoids. Uh, for example, if I wanted to calibrate methane on solenoid channel one, I would select methane, just simply go back one arrow. And now it says methane solenoid one. So if I wanted to generate a high point, I'm currently running zero air to my methane analyzer. I just touch that button for zero. And up comes my different span choices that I've got set in this analyzer. They're all set for 0.08 right now. Uh, so say my span one point was my high point, I would simply pick this. I'll hear a solenoid click, there it goes. So the span one solenoid is activated and it's letting methane cal gas go into the calibrator, mixing with my dilution air. And I would run that for 15 minutes and then simply go to my span two midpoint and then on to, you know, after 15 minutes, go on to span three and so on. You know, it's that simple. Um, after I'm all done, I want to go back to zero and it will shut off the span solenoid. And then I can go back to that screen again, the cal screen. So that's, that's how simple it is to simply uh, pick your solenoid that you're cal gas tank is on so if SO2 for example solenoid 5 uh, it shows under settings solenoid 5 SO2 if I'm running I'm running zero air right now so I want to take it into span 1 uh, my high point is 0.8 ppm or 800 ppb I'll press span 1 here click my cylinder opens up into that span 1 port and I let that run for 15 minutes calibrating my SO2 analyzer. So and then if I want to go to span 2, my next point down, which is 0.6 ppm or 600 ppb, I'll hit span 2, let that run for 15 minutes, and then on to span 3, you know, and then I'm down to span 4. So once I'm done my multi-point calibration, I'll just simply go back to 0, it'll close the solenoid, and I can go back to that screen again. So that's how simple it is to just operate the uh, the cal gas operation for this multi gas calibrator. So if you wanted to do a GPT gas phase titration on your NOx analyzer NO2 channel, you would then go into operation back to where the solenoids are set. And you'll notice it has solenoid 6 GPT NO2. So if I select solenoid 6 GPT NO2, and then I go back one screen, and now you can see it's highlighted GPT NO2. And it will actually show you that on the main screen too. If you look at the main screen, there's my G, I'm set up for GPT NO2. I can go back into settings, and then go operation, and there it is again, GPT NO2. Uh, so right now I'm running zero air here. And if I want to pick span one as my high point, what you'll hear when I press span one in this case is you'll hear two clicks. You'll hear the valve for my NO tank and you'll hear the valve for the ozone generator click as well. So it's mixing ozone with NO to make my NO2. So when I hit span one, you'll hear two clicks. There they are. So now it's opened up my tank at the back for my NO to come in and it's generating ozone into that mixing chamber as well to make the NO2. So if I run that for 15 minutes, I'm doing my GPT 
I'll hit span 2, go down to my next point for 0.250 ppm. And then after that, I can go on to my span 3, say 150 ppb. So that's the GPT function of this, in this instrument, this multi-gas calibrator. So when I'm finished, I'll just simply press 0, and it will close both those valves. And I can go back to my main screen again. And see there, I'm still sitting in GPT NO2. So that's how simple that is to operate. There are some settings you need to do before beginning your GPT. Uh, there's an ozonator setup screen. And you can see here it has GPT setup. Um, and here it has continue. And this screen, you can set your concentrations for your NO2 span 1 concentration. I had it set to 0.450 ppm. My NO2 span 1 total flow is 2,000 cc's. And my NO2 span 1 NO target is 0.540. So if I go back one screen, there's an auto calculate NO target, which you can press. And it will actually calculate that target for you. You don't have to go in and do it yourself manually. You can do it manually if you want. But it will actually calculate that NO target for you if you just press that button previously. So what you're seeing in this screen, there's a lot of information in here. You've got three lines for span one, NO span one concentration, NO, sorry, NO2 span one concentration, NO2 span one flow, total flow, and NO2 span one NO target. And if I go down, I've also got the same thing for span two, concentration, total flow, NO target, and span three, concentration, total flow, NO target. And this goes all the way down to six. You have six spans you can do. And they all have a concentration, total flow, and NO target setting. So this is where you would preset all of these values before beginning your uh, your GPT. There they are there. So a little bit of setup to do right there. Going back, you have a cylinder setup screen, which is important to have completed before you begin. And what they tell you to do for your GPT is to put your NO cylinder that you're gonna use for your GPT onto solenoid six. Because if you remember, if you go back, it actually was looking at solenoid 6 GPT and O2. So that's the one thing you have to do is go into cylinder setup and make sure you've got your NO. You can go in here, you can choose it from the list. There's NO, there's CO2, there's NO2. So you can go NO, go back, and then your cylinder concentration, in my case it's 50.6 ppm. You just enter it then in here on the keypad. The balance of the tank is nitrogen, and you can pick from a list in here if it's air, nitrogen, it's argon. So it's nitrogen, we'll leave it on that. Go back, back one more. And so that's your cylinder setup screen right there. So NO on solenoid number six for GPT is the one thing you do have to remember to do. So that when you do go into operation, and you want to go into pick solenoid six GPT, and there it is. So it's doing a zero right now. Go back in, you can pick your span one. You'll hear two valves click, there they go. And now it will be pulling in NO, mixing with your ozone to make the NO2. So a little bit of screens you have to set up first so the cylinder is set up the ozonator is set up and then you can go into your operation uh, your gas setup you can go in here there's where i set up my no solenoid span one concentration span two all the way down to span six right there so that is just a brief overview of how to operate the instrument settings operation. So if I wanted to go in and do a basic SO2 calibration, mine is set on solenoid 5. Go back. I can pick 0, run my 0 error to do my baseline. 
do that for 15 minutes. Then I can go in and check span one to do my high point, point 0.8. Valve opens, lets my gas come into the cal calibrator, and I'll run that for 15 minutes. There's my setting, point 0.8, and these numbers would all populate as well if I had air running through it. With my cal gas flow here, and my total flow for dilution here. Well, so that is the multi-gas calibrator. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.